right, so I've cloned out those objects and uh, left in just the right amounts of detail, I think. Uh, and um, got rid of the nastiness there. I think for a web image this is going to be fine. Uh, so the next thing I wanted to show was cutting out the engine um, and selecting it and using it in the image. Alright, so I'm going to do the same copy and paste routine into this image. And I'm going to use the free transform tool to align it using the uh, features that I left in place um, that were going to be visible. Uh, so something along the lines of that. I might have to oops, might have to vary the opacity on that layer just to let me see through a little bit better. Oops. And uh, go back to the transform to line things up a little bit and I'm going to scale it up just a little bit there and I think that puts things just about where they need to be right so I'm going to call that good and then um, I'm going to erase those edges that I uh, areas of that layer that I don't really want so I'm going to turn the opacity back up <coughs> and then use the eraser tool to erase those edges. And I'm going to kind of feather it, but, uh, but that's not actually the important feathering um, that we need to think about. Uh, what I'm going to do is copy the car layer, the good car layer, back underneath and start cutting holes and things. That's good enough for now, I think. So, what I'm going to do is go back to my background layer and do a duplicate. Okay, and then I'm going to put the engine between those layers. Alright, so the key here is to now cut a hole in the top copy that uh, allows me to see through to the engine. Okay, so what we do here is we select the elliptical tool create an ellipse and then use transform selection. You can rotate that ellipse. I'm going to put it somewhere roughly in the middle here. Um, something like that. That seems about right. Now uh, it's important to note that I've got feather set to 50 here. Um, and I'm going to um, look at our duplicate layer. Uh, and that selection I'm going to hit, uh, hit the alt key and mask and it's going to cut out that middle piece right there. It's going to reveal the engine. Uh, so with the feathered, e feathered edges that looks pretty nice. Um, I've got the turbo, I've got some valves and piping and the headers and the, the uh, valve cover. That's really the pretty part of the engine that we wanted to see. Um, and one last thing I do here if I want to, I mean I could leave it like that and you have to sort of play it by ear and decide you know what you want to do and what what you want to draw attention to in the photograph. Um, I can do another duplicate of that background layer, stick that all the way to the top, and then drop the opacity slider on it um, so that it looks like a, a see-through hood instead of a complete hole. Um, you, can, you can tweak that as necessary so it's not like in your face, uh, a hole in the hood kind of a thing more like a, a cutaway or something like that. Um, you might need a little bit more transparency depending on on your taste so that you can see that engine a little better. Uh, but there we are. So zoom out to take the uh, take the larger view, get all my tools and stuff out of the way.